What's up YouTube, this is TechCracker and I'm going to be showing you my top 10 most used um, iPhone or iPod Touch applications. And right now I'm using the iPod Touch 4th generation. And I'm jailbroken, but the apps I'm going to be showing are from the regular app store and don't require a jailbreak. So, to get started, my most used app would have to be a game and that's Angry Birds. I had it running in the background already. It usually doesn't start that fast and I'll show you this is the right now I think the number one paid app for games and the point of the game is to flick a bird at a structure and knock it down and you get the point of the game now number two for me would have to be Netflix I'm always watching movies and it's a free app but you have to pay membership and for just streaming, I think it's about 7 or $8, which is a good price. And it's asking me to sign in because I just updated, so one second. And what I really like about this is that it takes what I was previously watching on the computer, which is South Park, as you have there, and I can just press resume. It's really, it has a lot of um, movies and TV shows. I can even go into search, search for any title, it has my Insta queue, search by genres. Now, number three is a utility, and what this is called is AppZilla, and it puts pretty much every utility you need into one app, and I think it's 90 in one. And you just swipe through everything they have. I'll show you an example. Some of them are useful, some aren't. Like the lighter one really isn't. This one is the leveler. Sorry, I have to hold it this way. It's kind of hard to see, but it just shows the level, how level the table is. And there's a lot more on that. I can't really show you all though. Next would be deliveries. And this is a paid app. And what it does is it keeps all my deliveries organized into a list, which I need and I like it a lot. And I think it's about $3, 2 or $3. Next one would be in the music section, and now it's Pandora Radio. This is a free application, and what it does is it, you put in your favorite artist or song, and it cre creates a, a radio station that just for that you would like. And has some of my previous ones, it's Kid Cudi radio station. And I have the volume pretty low, but a little louder. And you just press next, and it doesn't always play Kid Cudi, but it plays something I would I might like. Next would be Skyfire, and what Skyfire is, another internet browser other than Safari here. And what this does is it plays Flash. Normally, um, Safari doesn't. And, I mean, the internet app on this doesn't. And, like, I'm on the South Park website, and it has um, a video, and it shows a loading bar at the tab down here, you see? And when it's done loading it, it'll pop up the... We'll just wait, it'll pop up with the video. I just have to click it, and it'll play it. Usually this takes about 30 seconds. Um, it's not that fast, but I guess it could be worth the wait. This app is useful for if you don't want to be on the mobile YouTube website and you want to see on the, like, the computer version and you still want to see videos. I'm just going to let it load to show you how long it usually takes. Didn't take that long. It starts off with the quality pretty low, but it eventually gradually gets better. See, it's pretty good. Alright, now that's it. Um, the next one would have to be remote, and what remote does, it's right there, and it, you can control your iTunes library from your iPod, and you can press play, pause, next, and right now this isn't synced with my computer, it's synced with my laptop, so I don't have it on yet, so I can't really show you that, but most of you, I just explained it pretty well, and some of you probably know it already. Next is the Weather Channel app. I don't really like the iPhone's regular 
app for weather. It doesn't really have a detailed enough like weather forecast and this is good for if you want to see the 10 day forecast and you want to click on Friday and it shows a detailed um, forecast for just Friday and that's only for the paid version on the free version it's not as it just shows current hourly things like that um, it also shows a map down here you can scroll through road cams settings everything like that it's good and that's it for that and number 10 would have to be Starwalk and what Starwalk is is that it shows a view of the sky like the sky stars and on the iPod touch it you have to scroll through it like with your finger and on something that has a compass you can just move with it this one doesn't work like that and for this you, you can just move through it and you can see each star what pattern they form it's really cool it has the names for each star and you bring up the menu it has a lot of things like location picture of the day the sky live view and a lot more things the time for where you are it's a really cool app you can check it out this is a paid app I'm not I forgot how much it was and that's it for 10 video 10 apps uh, make sure to comment rate and subscribe and thanks for watching